hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel today guys i'll be checking out this interesting video from brett cooper and it's titled justin timberlake go home you guys i'm super excited for this if you're here to subscribe to this channel please consider subscribing give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and without much ado let's see what brett cooper has for us in this video welcome back to the comment section i'm brett cooper so justin timberlake has been going through it for the past year so actually probably for the past few years but really the past 12 months have not been good for him pr wise i mean his career has been dwindling objectively so except for trolls because that's been the biggest thing he's done recently and he's been trying to revive it wow. and the internet just consistently makes fun of him no matter what he does and then in 2023 britney spears releases her tell-all book and tells the world that he told her to abort the baby that they'd conceived together and then a young woman goes viral claiming that she is his secret child and that he has abused her. If you want to learn more about those two That's crazy stories, we'll link them below. I've talked about them both. It is wild. But basically, all you need to know is that his public image has really taken a beating. But it seems like in the past six months, Justin has, you know, gotten his second win. He's gotten back on the horse. He's currently doing his sixth tour. It's his first in five years. However, after getting charged with a DWI yesterday, it seems like his future is back up in the air once again, and we need to talk about it. Before we do, though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you've not already, and then ring that notification bell so that you never miss one of our episodes. All right, so you might have seen the memes already because this has literally been everywhere for the past 24 hours, but in the wee hours of the morning, yesterday, Tuesday morning, Justin was pulled over and arrested for driving while intoxicated. Mm -hmm. And like all celebrity scandals do, it immediately hit social media. The AP posted this right after the news broke, saying, breaking, Justin Timberlake has been arrested and is accused of driving while intoxicated on New York's Long Island, an AP source says. And soon after, more details started coming out on social media. This woman published some details from the court documents and said that Timberlake told police during his traffic stop that he had one martini and he followed his friends home. His eyes were, quote, bloodshot and glassy. There was a, quote, strong odor of an alcoholic beverage emanating from his breath. An officer from the Sag Harbor Village Police Department said that Timberlake had slowed speech, he was unsteady afoot, and he performed poorly on all standardized field wow. sobriety tests. Timberlake rejected a breathalyzer three times. Like, okay, Justin, I don't know what martini you were drinking, but I don't think it was just yeah. one martini. Somebody commented and said, Justin, it doesn't count as one martini when you get it refilled five times. Another person said a Lyft or Uber would have been cheaper. Yeah, it always is. An Uber is always cheaper and it is always safer. Like driving drunk in 2024, when you literally have every single option mm -hmm. available to you on your phone is truly the same. most embarrassing and dangerous yeah. thing ever. There is no reason for you to be doing that whatsoever. Now, because we know that celebrities usually get off with a slap of a wrist, the response on social media really dictates how damning the public sentence is going to be. And I'm sorry, Justin, but it has been damning. It has been incredibly damning. Somebody tweeted and said, it's pretty great that hating Justin Timberlake brings so many people together. People who love Janet Jackson, people who love Britney Spears, millennials who resented the body shaming of Jessica Simpson. Who else am I missing? What other women did he screw over? Another girl said, the internet can be a terrifying place sometimes, unleashing our darkest sides and consistently dividing humanity. But we've all put aside our differences and come together to celebrate Justin Timberlake getting arrested, and I love that for us. And you know what? I hate to say it, guys, but I agree. Like, after the Britney Spears story came out, I was out. And I wasn't even a Justin Timberlake fan to begin with. Like, I had heard his music, I knew who he was, but after that, I was like, no, buddy, you are a scumbag, obviously. So, I'm not upset about this response. But back to the point, guys, and the real crux of the story, the memes. The memes have not stopped and they are incredible. One guy posted this and said, sir, I'm going to need you to step out of the vehicle and walk in a straight line, Justin Timberlake. <laughs> and if you're wanting to know what he's currently doing on his tour, this is apparently it. Bruh. Buddy, like that dancing alone is enough to have the man canceled. Go home. You are not in sync anymore. It is worse when you are alone. Just get off stage. Obviously, based on social media, nobody wants you doing this anymore. But honestly, guys, it hasn't just been random social media users that have been going after him. It's the media in general. It's the mainstream media. Like, I about fell out of my chair when I saw this headline on Instagram. They said, troll star Justin Timberlake has been arrested for driving under the influence in NYC. Like, the man has been reduced to troll star, the singer in the animated wow. Trolls movie unbelievable guys like that has got to be the worst thing that has ever happened to him well actually the new york times article about him might be even worse somebody tweeted and said the new york times story on justin timberlake's dui is one of the harshest things i've ever read guys buckle up this was their headline justin timberlake is charged with drunken driving in sag harbor and they said police in the hamptons community gave few details about the arrest of the singer who was once among the most prominent stars in american popular music oh wow oh that's not good 
That has got to not feel good, Justin. They did not stop there, though. In another paragraph, they said, Mr. Timberlake was once among one of the most prominent male stars in American music, but his most recent solo album, Everything I Thought I Was, was met with criticism and weaker than usual sales when it was released in March, becoming his first solo release to miss number one since Justified in 2002. I mean, like, even in the image descriptions, they were burning him. Like, here's a photo of him. They said, Justin Timberlake was once a preeminent pop singer, but his star has dimmed in recent years. I mean, they held nothing uh, back. Oh my God, I want to crawl into a hole and I'm not even him. Like maybe it's too soon for a joke, but this man is going to need a martini. Wow, you guys, what are your thoughts on this video? Let me know in the comment section down below. Justin Timberlake must be crying a river right now, wherever he is, because those headlines really, really went out of their way to through Justin Timberlake. And like Brett Cooper said, he'll be needing more than one martini after reading all of these headlines let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section down below and what are your thoughts on driving while intoxicated because knowing the kind of danger that lies ahead i don't think anyone in their right senses should be driving white drunk but let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section down below what do you think goes on in people's mind when they are this drunk and still decide to drive drop them and let's continue watching you guys after reading all of these headlines because he is getting absolutely torched. He's also going to want to bury his head in the sand when he sobers up and remembers the interactions that he had with the cop that pulled him over and arrested him, which is probably my favorite part of this entire story. So allegedly, this Sag Harbor cop was fresh out of the academy, and I think he's 22, so he's my age. And obviously, we both grew up in the post in sync world, post-rise of JT, and so this cop did not recognize him. I don't know how to put this, but kind of a big deal. Just listen to this. New York Post published this. We're also told that the cop who pulled Timberlake over, quote, was so young that he didn't even know who the 10-time Grammy winner was. Quote, he didn't recognize him or his name. A second source adds, Justin said under his breath, this is going to ruin the tour. The cop replied, what tour? And Justin said, the world tour. <laughs> it is too wow. good. Also, it is just perfect because I think the second Trolls movie was Trolls the world tour like which world tour are you talking about your trolls monopoly that you're running or your actual world tour anyway it's just too good it's incredible somebody said gonna start saying this is gonna ruin the tour as a response to every slight inconvenience in my life this is about to be the most influential that justin has been in a while somebody said quote i'm never gonna financially recover from this walk so this is going to ruin the tour could soar very very true also this meme was just perfect allow me to introduce myself gus Polinsky. how are you Polka King of the Midwest. I had a few hits a few years ago. Uh, that's why, I, you know, just polka, 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 polka. Damavuji Polka, AKA <laughs> Kiss Me Polka, Polka Twist. Well, these are songs. Poor guy. I mean, it is truly, truly embarrassing. Like guys, I don't want this to be misconstrued, but the media's response to this might just be worse than the crime itself. Like I have never seen this before. Usually celebrities just, you know, oh, they go on with their business. You know, maybe they'll get some bad press for a couple of days. Nothing like this. Like the New York Times hitting him on every single angle. The cop coming out and being like, yeah, I had no idea who he is. Oh my gosh, when that body camera footage drops, it is going to go viral in two seconds flat. If it ever gets released, Justin Timberlake is probably gonna be like, no, <laughs> don't let the world see this. I mean, sorry, Justin, some things just can't stay private. If you guys, what are your thoughts on this video? The internet is just a shithole and they can make you go from zero to 100 in a second and vice versa. Let me know what you guys think about people trolling Justin Timberlake this much, especially coming from the New York Times. They really, really went out for him and I don't even know how he's going to be feeling right now. And if the police decide to drop the body cam, how do you think Justin Timberlake would take that? Leave it in the comment section down below and let's wrap this video up, you guys. Anyway, back to the point in all seriousness, obviously a DWI or a DUI, there is never an excuse for either of those. Obviously, if you are drinking, you should not be driving. Justin Timberlake is 43 years old. He should know that. But all jokes aside, kind of like what I said in the introduction, it seems like things just have not been going exactly. well for Justin, even amidst a relatively successful world tour. I mean, just as one example, his wife, Jessica Beale, who is stunning and very, very talented, she's been making the press rounds promoting a new book that she released and a couple of new projects, and she has said some incredibly illuminating things about their current family situation. Just watch. 
I'm already exhausted. It's been, there's been four shows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. How, I, I don't know how he is going to do it. I don't know how we're going to do it, but we're going to get through it. Yeah. How he is going to have little time to spend with his kids over the summer. Just finding the time we can connect and see each other in person and get, get, get him with the kids. And it, we've never done this before with two. So mm -hmm. I don't know. She's going to be working and that if he has any time at all to rest, that he really needs to take that time to rest and that he might try to do something with his family. But chances are he just is going to be needing to rest and definitely not out doing this. And when he has his breaks, he'll we'll, we'll hang out yeah. and try to do something that's relaxing and fun. He, I mean... He has to relax. Like, he really right. has to relax. You yeah. know? Like, yeah. It's, we, we can't mess around. I'm sorry. You can't mess around. What has he been doing? Also, those are two different interviews. She has been using this tone, telling this story multiple times. There is obviously something going on below the surface. I mean, just take this last clip. Like, even with everything going on that she is obviously talking about in all of these shows, she is still trying to be supportive. She's still pitching for people to go see him in concert. Merch is super cool. If, yeah, yeah, yeah. if anyone's going to a show, which I hope everybody goes, um, it's just cool. Like, you want to wear these t-shirts out. So what we learned from watching those clips is that this tour is obviously taking a toll on their family and their marriage, and it's to the point that she is expressing this publicly. And what is Justin doing on his nights off? getting drunk in the Hamptons mm -hmm. with his friends. Uh, Justin, I thought you needed to be resting. I thought you needed to be getting with your kids because you are constantly on the road. I mean, what? Stop drinking. You know who you are. I'm speaking to you. Somebody commented and said, I feel like spending time with your wife and kids should be more relaxing than getting wasted driving and then going to jail getting a DWI. Yeah. One would think. Somebody else commented and said, we're gonna get through it is not how I'd want my partner to describe my tour. Well... <laughs> That's the situation we have all found ourselves in. Somebody else said, please, 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 has probably been playing on repeat. Yes. And if you guys don't know, that is Sabrina Carpenter's new song where she says, you know, heartbreak is one thing, my ego's another, I beg you, don't embarrass me, mother effer. This is a great song, great little narrative. Nice spot. <laughs> yes, that is 100% what Jessica Biel is thinking. But the thing is, I'm sure she's been thinking that for a long time because she has already stayed with Justin through a lot. Like back in 2019, he was caught canoodling with a co-star after, oop, oh no, having too many drinks. And it made enough of a splash that he had to go on Instagram and make a public apology about it. At the time he posted, a few weeks ago, I displayed a strong lapse in judgment, but let me be clear, nothing happened between me and my co-star. I drank way too much that night and I regret my behavior. I should have known better. I apologize to my amazing wife and family for putting them through such an embarrassing situation. Here we are again, Justin. Here we are again, five years later. And I am focused on being the best husband and father I can be. This was not that. I am incredibly proud to be working on Palmer. That was the movie. And I'm looking forward to continuing to make this movie and I'm excited for people to see it. Now, that post has since been deleted, which was probably the right move because I feel like that probably only made things worse. Just go home. Work on things with your wife and your kids. That is not for Instagram. We do not need to know everything that is going on. And yet, we do. All the time, because that's just how the world works. But it's apparently not just his marriage. There are sources that are trying to pin his drinking problem and this recent DWI on Britney Spears and her sharing things about their past relationship. Quote, another source reiterated that Timberlake has been in a dark place and began drinking heavily when the New York Times documentary Framing Britney Spears came out in 2021 and drew renewed attention to their relationship. The Grammy Award winner reportedly started making changes to his team to help manage the backlash he received after scandalous details from their decades-old romance emerged in Spears' 2023 tell-all memoir, The Woman and Quote, he was very concerned about his career and acting. People were very worried about him. And this just immediately rubbed me the wrong way because it is so gross. Like, this is not Britney's fault. You cannot blame somebody else for your drinking problem. All she did was try and tell her story after years of being drugged and silenced and controlled. What you're dealing with here is regret and the consequences of your own actions. It is time for you to man up. It's time for you to take responsibility, not just for that, but for your wife and your family. So again, go home and work on that. Spend some time with your kids. Put down the freaking mega pint-sized martini. A mega pint. I mean, Jessica Biel is obviously dedicated and loves him, and she has stuck with him through everything over the past few years. The least he could do is try to respect and appreciate that and make it easier for her to stay. Wow, you guys, that was such an interesting one from Brett Cooper. She has said a lot in this video, and I hope that Justin Timberlake gets to say this particular one. But let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section down below. If every time Justin Timberlake drinks and he ends up 
misbehaving this much then he has no business with drinking because one day he will surely get into the kind of trouble that he may not be able to come out leave your thoughts in the comment section down below what do you think about this video i really enjoyed every minute of this video and i believe you guys also enjoyed watching if you did enjoy watching give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys